In the year of 1993, the brothers John and Thomas Knoll released the third version of the well-known graphic computer program Photoshop. At the same time, many thousands of miles away from the Silicon Valley, Dr. Rachamim Melamed Cohen was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, a fatal disease caused by the degeneration of the muscles with a life expectancy of between two to five years. Rachamim, an educator, a man of spirit and a philosophy thinker, did not accept this death verdict and during the subsequent of 15 years he has retained it with his eyes. The eyes been totally involved in creative activity. He has produced 10 volumes in the fields of education, religious faith and poetry. Eight of his books have been written during his illness. The helmet of a combat pilot with which he can direct the trajectory of a missile served as the basis for the invention of the iTech program. The camera, together with sensors on each side of the monitor, turns the eyeball into a mouse for the computer. The movement of the pupil of the eye controls the movement of the cruiser. A blink of the eye equals a click of the mouse, and so on. So in effect, everything is in Rahamim's hands, or rather, to be more precise, in Rahamim's eyes. In summary, a program that was developed in order to direct missiles expertly to their targets has given Rahamim the ability to shoot bursts of words for his articles, books, and even poetry onto the computer screen. In this manner, Rahamim has written his latest books all with a blink of his eye. But at the point where words end, a world of color, shape, and imagination begins. The meeting between Rahamim and the Photoshop program produced unique and surprising results. Rahamim's originality, creativity and spirituality combines together with the broad spectrum of tools and almost unlimited never-ending possibilities available on Photoshop have given birth to an exhibition. Over the course of only half a year, Rahamim worked day and night creating 33 pictures, each one of them with a spatial texture with the movement of his eye alone. Because of his appreciation for the power of vision with which he has been blessed, he dedicated himself to the eyes in the Bible. He chose verses in the Bible that contained the word eye, verses which contain special meaning for Rahamim. For each verse, he drew a picture. In each picture, the eye appears in a unique way. The first step in Photoshop is the foundation level. Here we see the drawing of the trunk and its roots. The right choice of the brushes and texture bring the trunk to its special position. In order to draw leaves, Rahamim has first to blink on the right color. Then he needs to create the proper shape of the leaf and then copy it delicately and softly over the whole tree. The sky, the grass, the background likewise has to be linked to the tree itself. Man does not live alone. He works in an environment that influences him and he reciprocates by reproducing its leaves, its fruits, its shade and its beauty. This is the unique approach of Rahamim and without an evil eye may he proceed to carry out further creations.